Hi there, this is Robin. Um, I look after product here at Donify and this is introducing the triggers feature to you uh, in this short video. So we're going to have a look at a few things about this new feature. Uh, firstly, we're going to explain a little bit about what they are and why they exist. And then secondly, we're going to look at a tutorial as a way of building a trigger and making it uh, do the right things. So first of all, what are triggers? Well, triggers are essentially um, an automation tool in Donify that let you define that when something happens, you want a certain other thing to be actioned as a result. Uh, that can be any kind of um, task that you imagine in Donify, such as adding a constituent, a transaction, and so on. And then the do this part um, are various actions that we can perform. We call those uh, things that can happen in Donify trigger types, and we call the things that get done as a result the actions. Uh, the trigger types, as I mentioned, could be new donations, new transactions added to the database, could be um, constituents updated or added, any piece of data you can imagine really um, in Donify which arrives or is updated can be your trigger type. And the actions uh, are going to be things such as initiate a MailChimp sequence, um, integrate with another application altogether, and so on. Together, a trigger type and an action, or one or more actions, um, are known as a trigger. So uh, we'll set a trigger up in a moment to do something uh, interesting from Donify. So the thing we're going to do is we're going to look at setting up a donor journey email sequence. Um, the, the brief, if you like, that this particular organization has set is that whenever an individual donor gives between 250 and £1,000, uh, we want to send them our mid-level donor journey email sequence starting now. Um, so that's the brief, and we'll look at how to make that happen here in Donify. So we'll take it on a step-by-step -step basis. So step one is to set up the actual um, automated sequence of emails or the campaign in MailChimp. So this little thing here just reminds you what to do, which is to go to the create campaign in MailChimp, um, to emails, automated ones, ones that run through the API, and it's an email series that you want to do. I'm gonna switch tabs here in MailChimp uh, in, in my browser to look at MailChimp. So here are my campaigns in my MailChimp. And the reason we're setting it up here, not in Donify, is that um, we're going to end up initiating this thing from Donify, but it has to exist in MailChimp as a campaign first. I've already built one here called Mid-Level Donor Journey Emails. And if I open it up, you'll see that the, uh, the current stats are, are running. I've sent one email from it. If I go back, uh, we can see a little bit about how it's being built. Go to the edit mode. And these are the three emails in my journey. First one is called donation added. It'll send out an email that says whatever this template says it's going to say. Thanks and whatever. Um, go back to the... Oops, go back in again properly. And then step two and step three are shown accordingly and you can set the interval so this one is immediately as soon as it's triggered from Donify the first one the second one is four days after and then the third one is ten days after you can have as many steps with as many intervals and as many types of email as you like to actually create one from new as I mentioned earlier you have to cl click on create campaign at the top right there you choose email you click on automated you click on API, you click on API 3.0, you give it your campaign name, mid-level donor journey, whatever it's going to be, <clears throat> and you select your list that people will be added to when they subscribe into that journey. So that's my list for this particular charity, and begin, and I can set those three emails up. But I won't do it again because I've already done it, and uh, we'll use my example as we go through the rest of the tutorial. So that was step one, set up the, the series, uh, the campaign in MailChimp. And that's what you should end up with, something like this, which is your series of donations. 
And then you have to you have to start sending. It sounds alarming. It doesn't start actually sending at that moment, but it basically switches the automation on so that it can be um, you know when it receives the the initiation from Donify, it will send its first email. Step two is creating a mid-level transactions list for the trigger condition. So let me explain a bit about that. Um, in order for a trigger to fire, so you can imagine with our trigger in our example, which is about when a donation arrives, the trigger type is going to be added transaction. We don't want it to fire for every added transaction, otherwise people would be getting these email sequences left, right and center. You want to qualify the condition under which this email gets, this email sequence gets initiated. So in our case, remember our brief was 250 to 1,000 pounds, individual donors, it might be for a specific campaign, it might be you know, within a specific date range or something. You can do all of that checking. And the way we do that is we create a list for it. So I'm going to click onto another tab here in my browser to the list that I've prepared earlier, which is called the mid-level donor transactions list. And it's the, it's the condition for a trigger. So it's just a simple transactions list in Donify. And the filter has got um, date paid is today, which means it's not going to bother checking the whole database for all transactions to see if it qualifies. It'll just look at ones paid today, which makes it much quicker. And the amount is between 250 and 1,000 pounds. Constituent type is individual. The type of transaction that we're looking at is an allocation. Um, there's more about transaction types in Donify for you to read up on if you like, but that's what we need it to be. And the product is donation. You could add campaign to that or date range or something else as well as your filter. So that's the list that we have to have to qualify which added transactions actually then initiate this MailChimp journey. So back to the steps here. Step two, we've just talked about this list. Step three is all about then creating the trigger, that is joining up the trigger type to the action uh, with the condition as the list we've just created. So it brings these things together. So that's what it's going to look like, but we'll go into the appropriate part here in Donify. You'll find triggers under data management. Click on it there. You get a list of all the triggers you've ever created and I'm showing 10 of them. I've only got six at the moment in my list anyway. Um, if you're on essentials, you can still use triggers but it's limited to having three triggers. If you want more than three triggers, you'll need to be on the pro, pro plan. And that's what we're on here, because we've got more than three. And here's the trigger, which I prepared earlier. But to add a new one, you click on the plus button there. So if I open it up, it'll show what the trigger looks like. So the trigger is asking for what trigger type when it starts. So it's a, um, a transaction added. Um, it's called, the, the trigger itself is called mid-level donor journey. So we're, we're triggering when a transaction is added. And I can change that if I want to, if I've decided I'm trigger, triggering on the wrong thing. And then only run when all the conditions are met. Now these are the conditions. The transaction must be in this list. If I open up this list, it's saying transaction must be in the list we created earlier, the mid-level donor transactions list. Okay. So in order for this trigger to go any further, it's got to pass this test. So we're saying add a transaction that's in that list, then it's going to do this action. Now you can have multiple actions that happen, but this action is just a one, a single action in this trigger, and it's to initiate the MailChimp aut um, automation. If I click on edit there, it puts it into the right hand side. Which MailChimp automation do I want it to send? Now in my MailChimp, I've actually got two automations. I've got one called the Easter Campaign Supporter Journey and one called the Mid-Level Journey. So it's the Mid-Level Journey that we set up and you can optionally get Donify to check whether that person is opted in to any purposes or not. And if, if so, then you choose which purpose um, you want to check against there. Otherwise, it won't check the purposes. Okay, so that's what the trigger actually looks like and once it's set it's going to wait for um, a moment when a transaction comes in qualified against that list and it will then initiate the activity uh, the the MailChimp automation in this case 
So that's where they all sit. So they're all sitting there ready and waiting to be um, to run. And if I look at the logs, I can see the result of any uh, triggers that I've got in my system. Show a few more records on here. So we can see the most recently at the top here that I've got a trigger called scheduled trigger that runs every 60 minutes, which was last run 30 minutes ago. Going further down the list here, we can see I've actually tested my mid-level donor journey a couple of times here. And we've, um, yeah, they, they ran successfully. I can open up the log for that particular one and it will say uh, what's happened and so on. So that's setting up the trigger and monitoring it. Um, that was step three, setting it up. Step four is testing your trigger. So how are you going to test a trigger that does what we, we did? Well, first of all, um, obviously make sure that your Donify and your MailChimp are connected. Otherwise, Donify won't know which MailChimp to, to get that information from in the first place. And you can do that with uh, the integrations MailChimp settings. Uh, look into that in more detail if you want in the knowledge base. But you, this, this particular trigger assumes that we have Donify and MailChimp connected, which happily we do in this case. And then uh, you're going to need to add a test donation, probably to a test constituent on your database. So do a, a manual donation add. I'll show you what I did earlier. I have this guy on my database called Andrew Pritchard, where I test out all kinds of things. And if I look on his timeline, we can see that I added a £300 transaction earlier on today, which resulted in that trigger happening. As you add it, you should then see the logs to see if it actually fired or not. So remember the logs we looked at just now, you'll see the, the log updating. And then look in your inbox for the email, assuming that um, you set up your campaign to, to send emails immediately, because your trigger, your, sorry, your MailChimp campaign, the first email could be delayed by five hours if you wanted it to be, so it doesn't look quite so automated. Or um, it could be you know something that you, um, delay for weeks to come it's up to you but most of the time i guess you're going to want to send it within say 30 minutes or so or send it immediately which is the option i had in my mailchimp if i go back into my campaign for my mid-level donor journey oh i've gone i need to go into edit mode to show you how this works so into edit um, we can see that this particular one, I've got to pause, um, I've got to edit the settings here. Um, yeah, so I'd have to pause the whole thing in order to uh, edit the intervals. But you can see on each of the each of the uh, emails here, trigger immediately after, four days after, and so on. So yeah, enter your tr transaction and look in your inbox for the email and all being well, you'll have your the first of your supporter journey emails and then the ones that happen in the days to follow that. So that's the process of setting up those triggers. Um, a few more things to tell you about triggers is that this isn't the only thing you can do with them. Um, we have number, oh yes, delete the test donation afterwards so as not to spoil any figures you've got. Um, but these are the trigger types that Donify currently supports um, at time of doing this presentation in September 2020. So we have, like we were saying earlier, adding a transaction is the one that our trigger just used, that trigger type there. But there are many other trigger types that you can use. We'll be adding to some of these. So it's mostly adding, updating and deleting bits of data in Donify that you know and love. So constituents, transactions, activities and RPIs. We'll probably be adding task, um, sorry, trigger types that uh, are related to tasks as well. Um, but you have two others at the bottom here, manual and scheduled. Manual is a trigger type that is basically somebody clicking a button with a mouse in Donify to initiate an action. And scheduled is a sort of every half an hour or every hour, whatever frequency you want to go and do an action. So you can actually set up some scheduled jobs this way as well. The actions that Donify supports at the moment in triggers are initiate MailChimp automation that obviously uses MailChimp as the place it sends its information to. The other actions that we support are HTTP post, HTTP post to another app. This is a um, 
perhaps something more for a, a, um, a, a developer or a um, someone who understands how APIs work to, to, to help out, certainly more than I do, but it enables you to send an instruction with information from Donify to another app. So for example, in the case of our automation we had just now where we, we set out, we initiated the MailChimp automation, we might at the same time, as a secondary action on that trigger, send a message to Slack or to Microsoft Teams to say, new mid-level donor has arrived, number one, two, three, four, five, and then you can um, be notified of that automatically. So that's uh, another action type. Basically posts information from Donify to the API of other apps. These, this isn't all of them, this is just a few that might be the obvious ones. And Zapier, by the way, uh, if you're not familiar, it's a, if you like, a, a gateway kind of API to lots of other tools. So it's a, a thing that will open up lots of exciting uh, integrations for you with Donify if you were to uh, post out to Zapier as a result of one of your triggers. And the third action we currently support is um, executing a stored procedure. That's a, um, a database uh, instruction or a database task um, only applicable to Donify clients who are using the own Azure environment. And that basically enables you to set off custom jobs to update Donify um, in a certain way for a particular purpose that you've identified. So any trigger types can be used in conjunction with any actions. Multiple actions per trigger can be launched and you can monitor them all in the logs. So I hope that was useful. That's just a, a quick um, run through then, a tutorial about uh, how to get the triggers to initiate a MailChimp automation and uh, where it is at the moment. Uh, we will be adding more actions as we go to enable you to do more things as a result of capturing certain moments that happen in your Donify. Uh, but for now, um, good luck with that and you'll find the help document on the knowledge base if you want any more information. And of course, um, if you uh, have any questions about that, then leave us a nice support ticket and we'll get back to you on there.